Good morning, folks. We've got a day of eye candy on deck here. We'll see sights from the ocean to the sky to Mars, plus geophysical activity. We'll start with a different kind of eye candy, solar ultraviolet images from GOES standing in for the SDO satellite, which is unavailable until next year. It was a mostly quiet day. Filament collapses top left, and right afterwards, the first solar flare from the incoming active region erupted, possibly even made a small CME. Now that would not be aimed at Earth as it's over on the side, but the active region is turning in towards us. You can see the brightness from that location. It's the flaring at the incoming sunspot group. The peak of flaring so far hasn't been anything scary, just an M2 event this morning, but that's with the sunspots being small and even somewhat sparse. We're going to be watching for more flares and for any development of the active region that could push its emission up into the X-Class range. The other spots have been very calm here the last few days with no flaring whatsoever. Let's take the eye candy to the meteorite. While many people were providing entertainment about a UFO invasion yesterday, thanks for those laughs by the way, the only intruder into Earth's airspace was this, a small asteroid they actually saw coming and caught burning up in the atmosphere. Was beautiful. Up next we're going to the South Atlantic, that's Argentina on the left. Look at the gorgeous swirls of phytoplankton blooms against the blue water. This shot comes to us from NASA's Earth Observatory. Similar beauty up next, but on a different planet. This is the astronomy photo of the day from NASA, with red hues from the oxidized iron in the soil blown into the air by the wind, scattering sunlight and revealing blue wavelengths while an ice water cloud stuns on the right side, like Mars is trying to do an Earth impression. Lastly, folks, we're coming to volcanic activity, and while the Tal volcano continued the Indonesian uptick sequence yesterday, it was not the most interesting eruption from beneath our feet. Mud volcanoes also erupted in Indonesia, and while this one was small, it does give the idea of what a major mud volcano could look like and how it could flood its surroundings with mud very easily. Most mud volcanoes on Earth are dormant, but for anyone who's heard of a mud flood, their presence silently waiting below is an unnerving notion for many. We've got major events coming up at Observer Ranch the next three months. UFO Day is 10 days away. Mini conferences coming the next two months. Check your calendar. Pick a time. Come see us. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.